Whenever you get a used pin, you don't know what somebody else has done and what's original. Um, and I've noticed uh, when playing this that this will hit the glass. Um, well, this won't hit the glass, but because this guy had this uh, rubber down there, let's take this one off. It would knock the ball up and hit the glass a lot. So, problem with that is when your ball gets airborne, it's going to hit stuff that it's not intended to. So, you know, it might come up and smack back on this plastics, crack your plastics. You don't want any of that. So, I just took that one off. And um, so, let's uh, see what we got here. Now, this was my first order with Pinball Life. And I'll mount the camera. I ordered some sockets. These are uh, these are way too big. I didn't know what they'd be like. I just took a guess and I was wrong. So there we go. We'll deal with that stuff later. Okay, so I knew we needed new rubbers because on this one, on both of these, it just seems so sloppy. And um, the way it came, the way. Uh, um, the parts that I already had. Let me show you. I already took them off. But these just seem just way too loose. And then some of them were actually burned. Let me show you the new ones. Now, how do you know what size to get? Well, if you get a used pinball, again, you don't know. Look at this. Look at the size difference of what came off and what uh, I'm going to put on. Totally different. I mean, that's, that's a massive difference. So, you know, a lot of times people have, well, I got this part, I'm not going to order a new one, let's just throw this on. And uh, and then you get the game and you think that's the right part. Um, let me show you. Alright. Hopefully you can find a manual online and print it. In here. Where is it? Alright post adjustment sheet so here's a rough drawing of the play field and they show you the different parts of the play field and what size um, rubbers you need so two and three eighths two and three eighths and so you go online and that's what you get so these ones are easy you just stretch them over yeah nice and nice and tight I can tell already and I don't want them twisted, I just want them straight so and even. That's good. Let's put on this side. This doesn't need much explanation. Most people can figure out how to do this at least. I gotta tighten these nuts down as well. Okay, and I got two. Now these are the same size. The ones down here and the ones above. So let's move up to the top of this. I already took the screws off. So I had four the same size. And this one was terrible. This one was the worst. What would happen way too much was uh, because there was so much slack, this would go so far back, the ball would get caught under here, you know, things like that. Or this part of the um, leaf switch would come on the other side of the rubber. Let's put that back together. There we go. This should play a lot better. Okay, push that back. This screw hole up there is just a round hole through the plastic. That one's just a round hole, but this one is a slot. And the reason why it's a slot is you can adjust um, a pinball play field to suit, you know, your your preference or your customer preference or whatever. So what you do is this post is movable, and that's why it's a slot so that the um, that the mount can still um, reach the nut. If it was a hole, you couldn't move it, but this. This bumper down here, 
I could put forward and what that would do would block this target a bit more and make it harder to hit the target. Um, so when you see those slots like that, here's another one um, down there on the same plastic. But that's what those are, uh, those are for. It's, it's not because they're allowing for variation and in, in, uh, you know, just making up a difference. It's for uh, being able to adjust it. And if you look into it in your manual, you'll see um, how to adjust it for, uh, they con call it conservative and liberal play field. Okay, good. Couple new there. And let's put on the tip. I got a uh, new tip here. I don't know if it needed it. Let's uh, flick this up. I just bought it because it was cheap. Okay, and since all the other rubbers were white, I decided just to get a white tip. Come on. Yeah, this one seems pretty new. That one seems brand new, so that was a... didn't really need to be done, but... Might as well have them all matching. Just keep that for um, for when this goes bad. Okay, and we got another one here. Let's put on this this one. Now this is um, called uh, I think Super Bands, and it's a flipper band that's made out of oh I don't know a different kind of plastic. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're fairly new. And uh, let's give it a try. I thought when you bought some you're buying a set but I only have one so I gotta put in another order for the other one so if you buy one if you go to Pinball Life and you're buying you know one you're getting one so my mistake and I think they're two bucks a piece so four bucks four bucks get you some new bands I'm just going from memory, so I might be a little wrong. And I think these are, are much harder. Yeah, this is a much tougher rubber. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stretch it on there. These are easy. Did I buy the wrong size? I don't think so. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. This flipper is uh, busted. So I guess I'll have to get a new one of those. That's stupid. I would have never known. You know, I guess I could turn it around and use this on the other side. Might uh, might do that later during a flipper build, but yeah, that's strange. Okay, let's pull this over and and get this on without busting it. Man, that is tough. Oh, sheesh. You gotta be kidding me. I think I got the wrong size because that is tough. I'm, I think I'll rip this right off. They're not messing around. No. I think I got the wrong size. I'll double check. You know, I don't want this broken too. Yeah, that's a, a pretty big difference. So we'll find out. Let's just dump this back on. Clean it up a little bit. So I'll save that for another video. I'll order the other one and we'll do a, a playing different. See how it rebounds off the flipper. Right here on the play field, we're going to put in a post and a little bumper. And what that's going to do is stop the ball from damaging this, this mechanism right here that causes it. When the ball hits it, it's going to tweak that. 
So I got some posts, and uh, these are just a regular screw thread on the bottom. There's a little washer there, a little, um, it's not a lock washer. And that looks like somebody filled it in maybe with wax. I don't know. But let's get a... I'm going to pre-drill a hole because I don't... You know, there almost looks like there's metal down there. That post probably broke, which is going to stink for putting in a new one because that's tiny. So let's see... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna scratch around. Uh, yeah, oh, it broke. It broke off. That's why there's no post. They didn't take it out. Hmm. Well, I can drill right next to it and put in the post, which I don't really want to do. I wanted this to cover that ugly hole. I know they make um, drill bits that go the other way, something like that, and you can drill, but this is so small. I'm probably in, gonna end up just putting it right next to it but um, let me monkey around with this and see what we can do without uh, how would you get that but I mean it's down there about an eighth of an inch how would you get that out okay well I thought I'd have a double check on the underside of the play field and um, look at what I found where is it it's hidden oh there it is okay so when that target flips around it's you know moving this and there's the post right there it's it's got one of these um anchors so it's a machine screw not a, a wood screw thread so if i bust this up i can spin that out that'll be a lot easier and i won't have to ruin the uh, play field to, to do that so let's pry that apart if i can bend those spikes up there we go. There's one. I can get it out of the wood. Some of these are going to be pretty hard here. There's nowhere to shove the. There we go. Good angle. If I can get the spikes out of the wood, I can spin it. There we go. Two. And this one. Come on. There we go. All right. And let's see, which way is that going to go? Should be able to spin this if it's, uh, looks like it's gripped onto the screw pretty good though. Let's just give it another turn, see if the screw spins as well. Yeah, so maybe, uh, well, maybe I can drill it, and then that'll give me something to add, maybe a screw in there or something to be able to spin it. So, let's just drill this a tiny bit. Tight place to do it. Now the whole thing started spinning. Come on. Come on. Ow. Got a, one of those spikes is sticking straight out. There we go. And uh I can still use this if I need to. I can just hammer this out. Okay, let's see if we can get this out now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I did the wrong one. That was a post. <laughs> okay. Well, nothing's destroyed. Oh, I can't believe I did that. 
Luckily, we didn't ruin anything. So I can just bend this back and tighten the whole thing. Man. So right next to it, right there is the screw. So I was right the first time. It was a, wo a wood screw, not machine thread. It was so close it threw me off, though. I thought I had the right part. Lesson learned. So I'm going to bend, I'm, right now I'm bending back. Well, I thought that was success for a minute. Yeah, I got it out, but that's not what I wanted to get out. That was pretty lame. Just trying to put the spikes back where they should go. I'll just tap this back in. Got the end of a drill bit here. Just enough so it won't spin. And what sort of driver do I need for this? Oh, just a Phillips driver. Unbelievable. That's why when it was spinning, I couldn't grab it on the other side. I thought it was strange that it wasn't poking out more when we uh, started spinning it. You know, usually when something like that happens, you can't repair what you did wrong. In this case, I got lucky. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Everything's good. And back to normal. So, back to this one. How would we get that out? Mm. I'll try drilling it one more time from the top. We'll try it from the top. Okay, this, when I was undoing it, this screw was the one coming up. It's right next to it. You can see it's like half inch over, so. I blew it. I jumped too quick. Not double checking, but no harm done. Come on. There we go. gonna drill this out the, out the center and try to unscrew it and I'm stuck on the side of this thing it's kind of crooked I'm trying to get back into the middle of this screw yeah, there we go now I'll try and go down Enough. Alright, that's good. That's not very deep. Okay, I got a thin Phillips here. And the idea is... I don't think it's deep enough. Let's try it again. Let's just use a magnet to get these filings out. That way they're not a bunch of filings all over the play field either. Okay, now that's deep. Okay, I went up a size here. I want it to wedge in, bend the metal just a bit. Yeah, that's good. I can't turn it, so let's get some pliers. Let's see if I... It's turning. It's coming. Uh, 
All right. Can you guys see that? Probably not. Not yet, maybe. It's coming up. There we go. We did it. That's all it was. Wow. And that's that's wedged on there pretty good, actually. That's I can't pull it off. Okay, let's compare that with this new post. Yeah, looks the same size. So I'm just gonna pop this one in. And uh, should I fill it? It's kind of bothering me. It's a big hole. Yeah, I'll fill it. Now this is just some wood filler. Just to take up a little bit of the space there. Hopefully not much of it goes in the thread hole. I don't... Okay. And later if I restore the field I can paint that a little bit. Uh, let's goop this in. Hopefully it doesn't gush out much. It's working. Well, this is going to take a while, so let's do this in fast speed. All right, it went on. That was tedious because I didn't want to drop the wrench and. Um, scrape the paint off the play field. Now these are um, post rubbers and uh, 17 cents a piece. There we go. Perfect. So now that's how it should go and should look. Now this thing isn't going to slam the metal. You know it already was bent. It was working but I had to fix it when I first got it, so great. Okay, well, let's give this a go. Put the ball back in. It's good enough to play. It's working enough to play, so hopefully. Damn, put the bar down. Hopefully I didn't leave any tools in there. Let's flip this on. Okay, so we're going to try out these new bands. I'll see uh, how this little, if I notice any difference there. And then we got to... Uh, going to have a little fun. That's another thing I gotta fix. Okay, well I lit up the A. Let's try this again. So right here's the A. Not working. I missed it. Oh, down again. Okay, there's another problem that we're gonna uh, try to address. And that is this play field is a little warped this way. So. When the ball comes down here, it gravitates right at the ends down there. So I got a um, couple more posts. I thought the, the easiest way to fix that, I don't want to try to bend the wood back up. That's just crazy. So I can add in another post so it's just not as prone to go down um, the outside tracks on both of them. All right, let's try this again. Come on, I'll do better than this. Okay, we got an advance. See, 
Do that. Boom, down the side. No good. Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, so you want to do what you want to do at the top of the play field. Go down the center slot to get the A. Didn't get it. Oh. Let's try it again. So these are working much better. These are working better. So success. Let's see if we can get the C. No. All right. Everything but the C. Let's light up the C. Come on. Oh, that's what we get. Come on. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, that was fun. I'm on third ball, but that was a good video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer, and uh, we'll get busy on uh, fixing another part of this. There's a lot of things to fix on here. You know, this is um, 1976. I am older than this game by two months. And uh, I think there was about 10,000 of these made. So uh, I think it's held up pretty good. The cabinet's kind of beat. Uh, the paint needs to be redone. The back glass is the worst of this, this thing. But um, as you can see, it's pretty beat up. And somebody tried to fix it. It just made it look worse. Look at that. That's look... Ugh. What's going on down there? I don't even get it. But um, anyway, we'll do more videos on fixing this kind of stuff and having some fun. And uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye.